Uh, Mr. Speaker, as the author of H.R. Uh, 46, the Family Self-Sufficiency Act, I encourage all my colleagues to support this important legislation, which will help more disadvantaged families gain independence from government assistance. Thanks to, uh, to the support of my colleague from California, Mrs. Waters, last uh, Congress, as a part of the larger Section 8 voucher reform package, and as a standalone measure, uh, twice the House passed the Family Self-Sufficiency Act. Today we will uh, again uh, consider the same measure. The Senate didn't act on Section 8 uh, reform legislation last Congress, which is why we're moving this uh, legislation again. The Family Self-Sufficiency Program, also called FSS, is offered in connection with the Department of Housing and Urban uh, Development's Section 8 Housing Choice Voucher Program. Local uh, public housing authorities employ FSS. F as coordinators and administer these programs. In addition to rental housing assistance, FSS programs connect families to housing counseling, job training, child care, education, and other services to help them reduce their dependence on public assistance. FSS also helps families save for home ownership. The FSS program is well worth it. Let me give you a quick example of the uh, of a FSS success story from my congressional district. After uh, six years of service, a Navy veteran and a single mom of this single mother and veteran is an independent and self-sufficient homeowner, a long way from public housing. So what's the problem? Well, in fiscal year 2004, HUD changed FSS coordinating, coordinator funding process. And the result, in a 20-month period, the number of FSS SS coordinators dropped by about two-thirds and 4,000 fewer families participated in the, in the program. HUD has attempted to fix its mistake but without success. So that's why HR 46 is necessary to ensure that public housing authorities have consistent coordinator funding necessary to administer the program and serve people who choose the FSS pro, uh, path to independence. H.R. 46 establishes a minimum ratio of program coordinators to participants. In short, a public housing authority gets funding for one co coordinator for 25 plus families enrolled in its FSS program. With uh, with 75 or more families enrolled, funding for two coordinators, and with 125 or more families enrolled, uh, funding for three coordinators. It also requires HUD to establish and implement performance measures, collect data on FSS programs, uh, evaluate their effectiveness, and report to Congress on its findings. Finally, the bill provides some funding flexibility to reward innovative and successful programs. FSS works. It's a helping hand, not a handout, to American families who are working to become independent of government assistance. With the challenges American families face in this economy, that family self-sufficiency program, and those like my constituent who have benefited from it are a glimmer of hope. With this program, families can success, successfully make ends meet, raise children, get an education, secure a job, and achieve the dream of home ownership. It's a simple bipartisan step that we can take now to ensure that a brief period of economic hardship doesn't turn into a lifetime of poverty and dependence for many of our nation's most vulnerable families. It does so by addressing the lack of consistent federal funding for administering the FSS services. Mr. Speaker, these are good, flexible programs that help put disadvantaged families on the path to independence. Public housing can be an important safety net, but it's not a permanent solution. Let's give these individuals all the support we can to help them stand on their own two feet. As I conclude, I'd like to thank everyone who made this bill possible, including John Day, President of the DuPage Housing Authority, Jeffrey Lubo, Executive Director of the Center for Housing Policy, and the folks at the American Association of Service Coordinators, the National Housing Conference, the New America Foundation, and the Co uh, Corporation for Enterprise Development. And of course, I'd like to thank my constituent for her courage courage and willingness to let me share her success story with all of you day, today. And the gentleman from California, Mr. Baca, for managing this bill. 